What's up guys, it's Jacob Randall Holmes, and if you're new here, remember to like, comment, and subscribe, and if you're not, thank you so much for showing back up. Today, I'm gonna be reviewing my favorite incognito camera backpack, the Brevite Jumper Photo in Pine Green. Never could have been thinking I would know what the future bring, all the highs and lows, said I'm gonna win. Though the world might spin Now I'm sitting here like I'm no one It rains down on me All the phone calls I'm ignoring See, I'm a mess Just trying to guess my way through this Just don't get enough of me Literally, this is apparently a regular thing now. Now, my favorite thing by far about the Brevity Jumper photo is the fact that this is the most incognito camera bag on the market, in my opinion. This thing does not scream to me. There is 5,000, 10,000, 15,000 plus dollars of equipment in my backpack come steal me. The first time that I saw the Brevite jumper photo on a college campus, it was actually at Carnegie Mellon, and I honestly thought that it was a one of those Herschel Supply Company backpacks that everybody had, and I was blown away to find out that this, this, this is actually a camera bag. I mean, be honest with me. Does this look like a camera backpack to you? I didn't think so. So if you need something that you've gotta grab and go with, the Brevity Jumper Photo is perfect for all of your recreational camera needs, like this one for example. Got enough room for a book. Got enough room for a change of clothes. All right, ready to be impressed, this is cool. So once you open up the photo portion of the jumper photo, boom, and then here's the real kicker right here. So in the little jumper photo where the Canon or the Sony a7 IV chills out, we also in there have the Sony 100-400. Photo etiquette, bro. He just totally screwed up that shot. What are you gonna do? Making a YouTube video and captaining a boat, captaining a boat. Piloting a boat, captaining a boat. Captaining a boat and making a YouTube video are work. Fun work though. Bro, you just made my job so much harder. Okay, so by far, the number one use of the Brevity Jumper is when you are forced to be a peasant and fly Spirit, Allegiant, or Frontier, and you are stuck with one personal item, which is a small backpack, this is the one for you. Now, since I switched to Sony, I have definitely condensed my camera kit quite a bit, 
But back when I shot Canon, I used to actually travel around with my Canon EOS R, my Canon EOS R6, the Holy Trinity 16 to 35, 24 to 70, and 70 to 200, as well as my 24 to 105 and, and a 35 millimeter 1.4 prime. All lenses, all Canon quality glass, very, very heavy. All of that would fit in the jumper with my 16 inch MacBook Pro in there. So this by far is another one of my absolute favorite features of the Jumper Photo by Brevity. In this small compact package, it has got a space for a full-size tripod right down here. Now this is absolutely fantastic when you are traveling through an airport, when you are just, whenever you need a tri tripod, because a tripod is always a risk if you check it because they might not know what it is, they might take it from your bag, a couple years ago, I actually had a tripod confiscated from me. Thank God it wasn't one of the expensive ones. The fact that the Brevity Jumper Photo has that type of feature on a bag this small is just amazing. Believe it or not, you're actually able to put the tripod in this little like cup holder thing down here, which I never use just because like, I think when you put the tripod on the side of the bag, it makes it a little like wobbly on you. So. I don't put it there, but you totally can. Usually this is my coffee tumbler or my water bottle, personally, for me. Also, how about that view? Dylan Dam, Zanesville, Ohio. You know, I um, I used to go to New York City for work quite a bit before uh, the, you know, the thing that's been going on since 2020 until now. Um, but I used to go to New York quite a bit for work, and what I've been thinking ever since I've got this backpack is this would be perfect for that kind of trip. A kind of trip where you don't want to be hauling something that heavy around and that bulky. Like the Peak Design, I'm not sure I would want that for a New York City trip. That wouldn't work for me. Something like this, something that's this tiny would be truly fantastic, I think. Now, I hate to break it to you, but you know, no bag, no product comes without its faults. and. For me, the big thing about the Brevity Jumper is two things in particular. Number one, when you put a 16 inch MacBook Pro in the backpack sleeve in the Jumper Photo, the backpack will almost immediately, unless you have it completely full of camera gear, it will fall flat onto the face of the backpack. So the back of your backpack that everyone's seeing is dirty. And for a backpack that kind of like sells itself on design and like look at how pretty I am, uh, I, I don't I don't I think that's a design flaw on their part personally I think they could have done something to make the bag a little more structurally stable when it's standing up uh, That's just a, that's one of the gripes that I've got with it Okay, so the other negative thing about the brevity jumper photo that I am NOT the biggest fan of or I think is just another interesting design choice on brevity's part is the fact that uh This thing is not really weather sealed. I mean like there's like a rubber zipper cover on the backpack but i live in south florida and during hurricane season and just the summer in general south florida tends to do this that florida weather is wonderful until you have that every afternoon typhoon that is happening because the rainy season started way later but this is miami so beautiful so much tropical oasis that guy right there, look at his best life. Yeah, that. And uh, fortunately, my camera bodies and lenses are weather sealed, but my MacBook Pro definitely is not. And um, as I know from my very first MacBook Pro's death by Starbucks Chroma Macchiato, liquid in electronics, especially lab with laptops, is never a good combo. So that is like, the reason why this backpack unfortunately is not always my first choice. Whoa! What? This has been here all this time. That is nuts. I have never been down here before. Huh. That's pretty wild. But yeah, unfortunately because of this reason, um, when I go back to school in the fall, August, September, even October, 
This backpack is not my everyday carry, at least when I'm in a student at UM and in Miami in general. Now, once it's November, once we're in winter, once it's the spring, I love this thing. This is my everyday carry. I take it everywhere. I take it to work, I take it to gigs, I take it to weddings, all of the things. I absolutely love this bag for that. But during the rainy season, during hurricane season in South Florida, this is not the bag for me, and it's because of the lack of effective weather sealing. Now, I was looking on Brevity's website, and I did see that they actually do have a rain cover for the jumper. And I'm like, that's great, but why is it $35? It literally, it just, it goes over the backpack. It has no other function. There's no other function for it than that. But uh, you know, it's kind of unfortunate that they want you to buy that if you buy the jumper photo. But what are you gonna do? Brevity jumper photo. I believe it's like 120, 135 full price. Um, usually, depending on if you're a student or if you just hit it at the right time, they will have a $20 off or 20% off or something like that discount for it almost every time. So I love this thing and I am probably gonna pick another one up in a different color because I have just, I have used it so, so much on so many trips, on so many flights, on so many wedding adventures, I, I'm a fan. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching my review of the Brevity Jumper photo. And remember, if you're new here, like, comment, and subscribe. It really helps the channel and hit that bell for notifications every time that I post a video. And if you're not, thank you so much for joining me on another adventure. And remember, new videos every Monday and Friday. See you in the next one. She totally thinks she lost me because I keep hiding my neck filler. It's super mean. So let's see if we can't go find it. There she is.